All right, so I got my buck down. I'm way back in here. I do not want to drag him out. I've got a, a Everly Stock Just One pack, perfect for quartering them up and bringing them out. It's a really good buck, but it's uh, you know it's not one that I'm going to mount. I'll just do a European mount on him. So I want to show you how to quarter a deer so that you can put it in your pack and you don't have to drag it out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is run a cut all the way up the deer's back. It's okay to run it up to between the antlers uh, at the base of his skull. The taxidermist is going to do that anyway, even if you have it mounted. Uh, but you don't want to cut the front part. After you run that zipper all the way up the back, from the tail to the back, in between the, the horns, you'll cut around the deer. Try to leave a bunch of, of meat, or a bunch of the hide for the taxidermist that way. And then, so you've got to cut up the back, and then now you've got to cut all the way around the deer. So you'll start to be able to peel it off. You can peel up the shoulder, and then you can peel back to the ham. If you're going to mount your deer, you'll want to run the cut up the back of that front shoulder and uh, once you meet the body just run it on straight back to join the cut that you've got on the back side. So the shoulder, once you get the meat, uh, the hide pulled off of the shoulder, the, the meat is going to come off super easy. The whole thing, the shoulder lifts right off and cuts free easy. Uh, you, you'll know that if you've worked deer up before to put the whole thing in the bag. Uh, the, the back leg, you'll have to work with the ball socket a little bit to get it off, um, cut around and fill around until you find that the ball back there. Be able to cut a couple tendons, cut some of the meat, and it should snap free. And then I'm going to get my tenderloin and my neck meat off of this side and try to pick it clean as good as I can. Because the idea is, now that you've got the hide folded back on this side, you strip all the meat off that you want on this side. Uh, you're finished. So that means you can roll it over and not worry about dirt and stuff getting on it. So pick it clean, roll it over, and you're ready for the other side. And you repeat over here. You know, if you're uh, going to have it mounted, you'll run that cut up the back side of that shoulder and then run it back to join the cut that you did around the midsection of the deer, being cautious not to cut the hide. Uh, if you are going to mount it, leave more of that front section of the hide than what I did. I would come on back two-thirds of the way on the deer. But I'm just doing a European mount on this one, so that's not going to matter at all. And I don't even care if I cut the hide. I'm just All I'm going to take is the skull. Uh, same thing on the back. You know, you've already got a lot of the flesh cut free from that back ham, so it's going to come off pretty easy. So you're just uh, picking meat. Um, I, I put shoulder ham together, shoulder ham, and then I put all my tenderloin and my good thick pieces of neck meat. This deer had a lot of good thick neck meat. Put all that together and um, you're done, ready to cut the head off. I did the gutless method on this deer. Uh, it's super easy. Uh, there's there's really nothing to it other than don't just cut into the guts. Uh, the only problem is here, you know, once you get to the end, you've still got to dig in there and get that tenderloin out because you definitely don't want to leave that behind. Now, I've got an Eberly stock backpack that's made for packing meat out. Uh, it would be very difficult to pack this much meat out in a regular backpack. I encourage you to get a real good backpack like this, whether it's a frame pack or a frameless that's still meant to carry meat. But it's super handy. It uh, keeps you from having to do a lot of dragging. You can haul a lot of gear in it, too. Came in light, go out heavy, baby. That's the way we like it.